Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make an animated step and repeat. Just like John Oliver. So here is an example I made. You have the words FSX Toast scrolling right to left and left to right and you have a video of me flying an RC airplane. And here is the John Oliver example. So here is how he did his or his team did his. You have text scrolling from left to right and right to left and when he does an insert or a sort um you have the text the video in the middle here you have the video in the middle and you have the text scrolling from left to right and right to left and we also have some effects on the video in front so let me show you real quick how to do that all right here we are in premiere pro um first let's create a new bin I'm going to call it tutorial, create a new sequence. This sequence can be whatever size you want, but for this example, I'm going to be using DSLR 1080p at 24. Uh, let's put step 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 and repeat. All right, there we go. Now one example you can use to do your background. You can go see new item black video okay you can put your black video in there you can go effects um for color gradient and you can go effects gau ssi gaussian blur now if you want to go this route i would suggest you do two of the same color at the top and two of the same color at the bottom for the gaussian blur you're going to just Blur the transition between the two colors and then you hit repeat edge pixels to not get this dark this vignette around the blur. I don't know why that happens in the first place. Uh, you can increase your blur to you know really really get rid of the color separation. And here is it with out and with the Gaussian blur. Um, I'm not going to do it this way because I get soft crashes. Uh, Premiere, I just get a black screen in my program window. So I'm going to do instead, what I'm going to do instead is do a color mat. I'm going to choose gray because I'm going to use white and black text. And you know, the gray is just to be there. Now to adjust the speed, now I suggest you make this color mat. You know between one to two minutes depending on how long you want your inserts your video inserts to be uh, i don't expect you to put a five minute video as an insert and have this repeating i mean you could but then you're probably not doing fair use you probably just you're probably treading a fine line between what is fair use and what is using copyright material so all right, now before we add our text in, I would suggest you create a word document of whatever word you want to be repeated. Um, here I have the words FSX Tout. This is the name of my aviation channel and I'm going to just duplicate it all the way. Uh, I put two spaces between each word so the words are more spaced out. And this is all of the words I'm going to use. I'm going to highlight Control C. Let me go up the file, new, uh, legacy title. Let's put FSX out as the name. And here we are. Now, before we click and insert, for we okay, we clicked. Now, before we paste our text. I'm going to change the font to LCD. You can change your font to whatever, change your color to whatever, and oh, paste. No! Okay, that's messed up. LCD, click, click. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to use my selection tool, bring this down. Just for sizing, and then we go up here, 
click. This is your rule crawl options. You're gonna click crawl left, start off screen, end off screen. Okay. And then we can close that down. Let's put this into our tutorial bin. Right, now our rule will the speed of our rule will be relative to how long the rule thing is in your timeline and how much text you have on your how much text you pasted in there so since this rule is small in your timeline and we have a lot of text let's see how fast this goes by okay that's pretty quick so now what we're gonna do is we're going to put it extend it like that paste and we get something a lot more manageable all right I'm going to go up again new legacy title text tout 2 and then we're going to paste this above here in previous attempts I tried to duplicate the footage uh, I tried to duplicate the thing in the timeline and tried to change the crawl but then I keep getting black screens so that didn't work I even tried to duplicate the FSX toes in the in the project in the project window in the project bin and tried to change the color and that didn't work so yeah so that's why I'm opted to make another one entirely another title entirely so right now you're seeing me resizing it and then I'm just going to push it up to get some spacing. Now we're going to choose crawl right. Start and off screen, end off screen. And boom, there we go. But then we close that down. We put it in our timeline and we extend it. And let's paste and let's play and there we go. Exactly how we want it to be. I'm going to push down that because we don't have any audio files and what we're going to do now, we're going to nest our sequence. Okay, I think I'm going to duplicate it. No, don't do that. Nest it. When you nest it, you can... When you nest a sequence, when you nest stuff in your timeline, you can, dup you can manipulate your motion stuff, motion properties. So what I'm going to do now, nest duplicate and we go into our motion and we can push it, the text up we can push both of the titles up because we nested it as one sequence now we're going to nest again we're going to call this whatever um, alt and click to push up and then tada duplicate it again and let's push play and it's all fine and dandy. All right, now let's put our video file. All right, going to do Control L to unlink it and get rid of my audio. Now I wouldn't recommend you use it from start from the beginning because, as you remember, we started off screen. Both the black and the right, the white text starts off screen. So once we can start from here and put our video file there. Okay, this video file was shot in 720p, I believe. So that's why it's already smaller than the entire frame. If it's if it's full screen, you can always shrink it down. Just undo that real quick. Now for the video effect, let's go back to the John Oliver video. So we have a border and we have a drop shadow. So let's do that. Here we have Gaussian Blur. No, we don't need Gaussian Blur. Uh, let's see Alpha. Why can't I spell? L P H E. Alpha. Alpha Glue. Right. Now we change our glue. What does this do? Oh, this is ours. Alright, we click use end color. Uncheck fade out. And then we click 10 for our glue. 
and then we do a drop shadow see so drop yes let's spell that right drop shadow and this drop shadow has a longer distance and let's go back and check the original all right it has a increased softness so let's try 15 for softness uh okay that works direction this drop shadow is this way it's to the bottom and left for some strange reason and let's up increase our um that and let's increase the distance all right and there we have it the john oliver step and repeat text step and repeat john oliver text step and repeat all right and yeah that is how to do the animated text step and repeat or the john oliver effect yeah let's call that the john oliver effect uh thanks for watching subscribe for tech video cinema photography uh i do that kind of stuff so <laughs> yeah check me out check out the video i have for you on the left and hit the subscribe button if you're interested in what i do here thanks for watching everyone bye